This is the house near Shara. Um, it's a little hamlet called Dumarek. And this is the house here. Just looking at the barn. Uh, the front of the house with gates and parking. There are doors that go through into the barn to use as a garage. And this is the lane that goes along the outside. Doesn't appear to be very busy. Apparently, there's um, school buses come along it in the morning and in the evening, um, but that's about it. And we turn into the garden, and we look at the side of the house, which is their usual entrance, and looking out over the garden first of all. It's a really pleasant garden. Again, um, weather hasn't been kind to us today. It's a bit overcast. Um, but I'm sure that on a sunny day, this little walk through the trees would be a, a really nice spot to be. That hedge there marks the boundary to the property. That's their caravan. And back up towards the house. The garden continues along the side of the house. And round to the other side as well. Um, but we'll get to that after we've gone through the house itself. Heading towards the main entrance. So that door leads straight into the kitchen. As you can see, it's a great size. Terraced work, um, tiled work surface. Double sink. And stone lintels. type stove, it's actually a falcon with a hood over the top and a great big beam across there and that leads through into the dining and sitting area so the whole of this area is open for making sure you don't get shoved out in the kitchen when everybody else is elsewhere. <laughs> and this then is the WOW sitting dining area. It is an incredible space that I pan up onto the sort of uh, little mezzanine floor along there and upstairs to the bedrooms the staircase down there and the fireplace there apparently all this part of the house here if we look up at the ceiling massive beam running across there with chandeliers hanging down there and there but the father-in-law of the previous couple was a stonemason and so a lot of this uh, stonework, like this new chimney, is all done by a master stonemason. Now the 
floors here. It's all underfloor central heating with these stone tiles, which again were done by the uh, previous father-in-law. Um, and they give off a tremendous ambient heat, um, so they're not cold to walk on in the winter time. And that leads through into a hallway. So with my back to the sitting dining room and uh, moving into the hallway, again there's this stone everywhere that uh, this master stonemason has um, laid. Um, and this takes us through to the utility and boiler room. And it's an ideal standard boiler. And that heats the central heating and the hot water. And there's also uh, electric heating for the water there. But it's a good size utility room. And then back into the hall. And here is a stone evier, which uh, probably came from another part of the house, but the stonemason has um, put here in the hall because they always had uh, these evier sinks in, near the front door. And this door here, which is the uh, on the opposite side to the kitchen door that we came into um, takes us out to the uh, little garden on the other side and a small way that goes just to the house down there um, it goes to that house and no further apparently And uh, derelict barn at the back, which is um, also for sale. But it's been like that for ever since um, the current owners have been there. back in to the house with a view through to the back door there. So leaving the hall and going into the other part of the house now. This is um, what would have been a separate building and that stone evier sink probably came from here as the entrance door for this was, was there and that's the road along the outside of the house where we started filming and you can see this is a another dining area with um, original chimney um, although the mantelpiece or mantel stone is new the other bits are original stonework um, this could be quite easily turned back into a, a kitchen um, if you wanted to, as it's also it's the other sitting area. So in fact, this is uh, like a guest suite again, because this staircase here leads up to a bedroom and ensuite shower room, and then as we go through back through the other kitchen, the door here takes us out into the garage or barn which we saw from the outside and this is an incredible space. The roof was replaced about seven years ago.
takes us back out to the garden through there. The oil tank for the central heating is, is in here as well. So I'm back into the house. So I'm standing now back in the second sitting room, guest sitting room, snug, call it what you will, um, and there are double glazed sliding doors here that lead out to a covered terrace with the barbecue in and we pan around to there's the kitchen door that we came in through earlier I'll just take us up this staircase here to what could be either guest suite or master suite um, you'll see why as we come up to it this is a good sized bedroom with uh, roof light there are the stairs back down to that sitting room and just through here we have a shower and a loo Velux window again in this one and sink with a surround which again is made from that same polished stone And there's a connecting double door, because the thickness of the walls, there's a double door that goes through into the other bedroom areas. Um, but more of that in a second, because we'll come to that from the other direction. window is out onto the road at the front through the gates. And now we're going to head back downstairs to come up from the other side. So here we are looking out over the uh, side road. I'm standing in the corner of the main living room sitting area with that massive fireplace and the roof there and Sarah will leave it back to us and this magnificent polished stone on the stairs which leads up to that mezzanine so we'll take a step up there Look at the size of that beam. Let's step across it. And we'll get uh, a view from up here. And we walk back yeah. towards the staircase, <laughs> making sure I don't step <laughs> over or trip, trip over the bin rather. Um, stone work going through the archway into the living area. Uh, 
not really area, what I talk about, bedroom area.